Well, I went to see we all didn't get any straws for our drinks. And at first I was a little frustrated. I was wondering where are the straws, where are the lids? So I asked one of the guys about it and he said, SeaWorld doesn't give lids or straws. We're trying to protect the environment. The plastic is harmful to the animals. And after I got home, I started to research uh, what are the effects of plastic in the environment. And once I read about it, I thought, hmm, this is really something that my students should learn about. So I said, you know what? This would be a great opportunity for me to use the uh, experience that I had at SeaWorld to get the children to do a hands-on project. The project was for the students to research. I put together kind of like a web quest with a lot of links for them to look at articles and they could do their own research as well. And they were to research the effect of plastic on the environment. Then they were to pretend that they were a manager at the SeaWorld restaurant explaining to someone like myself why straws and lids uh, are not provided at SeaWorld. Today was an amazing event. The students got a chance to show their posters that they had made. Some of them presented PowerPoint presentations. The students also did writings and they read uh, about them. One child did a call to action for uh, his community and talked about how his church was now going to pick up plastic around. Then we had someone to come in to Skype in from SeaWorld. And wow, they um, donated tickets to all of my students to SeaWorld. Then we had another surprise in which they donated tickets for the students to the Georgia Aquarium. So today was a really awesome day for us here at Panola Way. My mom, she started to reuse our straws and lids instead of, and, but when we go to like a restaurant, if they give us straws and lids, we recycle them or we reuse them still. Most of the time, we used to throw them away when we didn't know that it was harming animals. But now we're doing much better of recycling. Uh, just use bottles that says BPA free. It says BPA free right here on this orange sticker. And it doesn't have toxins because BPA free is toxin free. So you don't have to just, you don't need just a plastic bottle cause that's considered a toxin. You could just go to the store and buy you a BPA free bottle. A family vacation to SeaWorld transforms a teacher's life and then comes back to Lafonia, Georgia and transforms the lives of boys and girls that go to Panola Way Elementary School in this third grade classroom. As I near, the last leg of the relay for my career, 15 years or so, one of the things we need to make sure that we're ready for is for retirement. Then we need to be able to be comfortable that we're gonna turn the reins over to a group of folks that's ready to make it happen. I believe that our boys and girls at Panola Way will be integral in that process. I believe that they're gonna be the next business owners, the next doctors, the next principals, the next builders of fabulous structures that students will learn in. I believe they're going to be the inventors of the next set of technology that we're going to use to take this to the next level. I believe they're going to be the next professors, the next judge, the next CEO of the Cap County School District. I believe that our boys and girls have made a, a footprint and a fingerprint and a handprint on our future and I believe that they're going to take the reins and turn this world upside down by showing not only the media, but showing the world around them that you can make a mark because if you step forward and take action, your action will be impacting everybody else that's gonna come behind you.